Mon fait avec huge success. So all our bikes are with, uh, with um, electric start and also with injection. Uh, we are specialists uh, with, uh, with the injection uh, since 2003. The first bikes for Enduro were coming with injection. But uh, this is a good feedback from, uh, from a DACA with a difference of attitude to know how it works. Also, electronic power valve and cycle part. Uh, we were uh, one year ago uh, world champion in Enduro with Matthew Phillips, an Australian guy. And uh, also, we, won, uh, we tested a, a rider in, uh, in the Olga Rally that was uh, Lorenzo Santolino. You see, he has done some good results. And he was um, a Spanish champion last, uh, last weekend. So it was a good weekend uh, for, for TBS, for the for a rally race, and also for Spanish uh, championship for, for Perco. We are present also in uh, extreme race. Uh, it's a red blue support race, and popular race, uh, as we can see with uh, Jerry Tarux. So this, this product seems a little bit maybe strange for you, but uh, this is uh, how Sherco uh, have started in 1999 with a uh, trial uh, product. Uh, my father was passionate about uh, trial. It's a uh, highly, uh, highly skilled um, manner to ride bike. Uh, Ravin, for example, tested, uh, tested that last time. Uh, it's, uh, it's really important for all riders are training, uh, are training with, uh, with trial bikes. So we have uh, uh, four riders in the World Championship. Uh, we're also present in, uh, in Pre Motor 3. And uh, let's speak about the, the main topic uh, the dream for all rider and the dream for all factory, uh, the Dakar. Uh, it, was a, it was a nice, a nice start with, uh, with TVS. Uh, it was four years, uh, four years ago, basically, because it will be our fourth Dakar with, uh, with TVS uh, racing. Uh, it started with uh, Arab and Pangaonka, uh, and his passion for, for motocross. And also, one time, uh, Arab uh, Arvin came with, um, to a factory with uh, we are in and we discuss what we can do together, a new, a new project, something interesting uh, to improve uh, the skills of our mechanic, uh, to improve the performance on the bike, reliability, but we can benefit each other as a real, uh, as a real team. And uh, we said, okay, uh, what's, uh, what's the most difficult race in the world for fraud? It's a Dakar. Okay, let's go and compete on this, uh, on this race. It will be interesting to see uh, what we can do. Um, so uh, since... Uh, since 2015, uh, we started an intense program uh, for development. Um, you will speak of a rider with uh, also ROV KP. It's interesting to know what is all the process to, to, build, a, to build a bike for, for rally. Uh, this year, we have done so many races. So basically, the Baja of Ragon, uh, the Mazuga Rally, and also recently, the Panafrica that uh, Joan Pedro won, and, uh, and, also the, and also the Oliver Rally, when they have done uh, fifth and sixth. Uh, that, is, uh, that is really good with uh, Lorenzo Tolino 10th and, uh, and uh, Aravin KP 13. So it's quite good, uh, quite good for the rider. It's really important to practice the race. Uh, it's important for three main things. Basically for rider training, because when experience more race every time, I can be accustomed to wake up at the at right hour, uh, to prepare the road book, uh, to be sure that can be ready for the race and to prepare mentally because it's so long race, a rally race, uh, that is complicated to be, to be performing during, for example, the Dakar uh, 14 days. That's, that's a crazy race. When you see, for example, MotoGP, just one day is, is, is really fast. But the Dakar race, it's, it's really hard to be, uh, to be performant on this kind of race during a so long time. And in addition to this, there is a navigation. Navigation is easy because you see the guy that are uh, riding at uh, 150 uh, km per hour, but at the same time, they need to check a roadbook. <laughs> And this is a concept that uh, not everyone knows, but it's, it's, really, it's really difficult to do the, the two things at the same time. And uh, now we are here <laughs> to, prepare the, to prepare Dakar. So basically, after the Libya rally, uh, all the team, all the team um, disassemble the bike, uh, check that all, the, that all is OK, rebuild, uh, rebuild the engine. Um, the riders are not uh, doing any more bike in, in intensely because they don't need to have a craft before the, before the race. So they are doing cycling and, and training in the gym sport. The mechanics are working really hard right now because they need to prepare the bike, they need to prepare the truck in terms of logistics because uh, when you put the, board, the, the truck inside the boat at Le Havre, after it's finished. <laughs> you can just uh, take things with a plane, so it's a, it's a real organization. 
Uh, so DACA will, uh, will, be, uh, will be in January in South America, like it is since, uh, since many years. Uh, free country cross. Uh, it's a nice, a nice experience for, for a rider to find and to see a different, a different type every time. So why there is this strong, uh, this strong partnership, uh, this uh, friendly relation, is because we have the same spirit about, uh, about racing activity. We are so passionate. I was speaking with, uh, with uh, Alan Siddharth, who was making a movie, say, ah, this is why we are in this industry. This is why we are in this industry. It's a dream. Or to participate, or to build, uh, to build a structure that can go to this kind of event. It's so nice to see, uh, to see this, um, this passion passion for, for this sport and uh, how, it's, uh, how there is emotion on the kind of, uh, of events. So here it's um, things that are really important is to learn so from this kind of events. So we learn in terms of uh, the two things that are really different, really difficult during a race like this. It's balance uh, between the between reliability of a product and performance. Because if you are not sufficient uh, reliable, uh, you can win one stage or two stage because it's but so a long race, a long race of 40 days, and this is not easy to arrive and to compete during uh, this, this, this long race like this. Extreme for extreme for engineer, because they need to work really, really fast, because after the race that is in January, they need to prepare the next Dakar, but the season starts uh, just in June with Mazuga and this kind of events, and uh, for the mechanic and for rider. Uh, Same due to benefits of uh, the partnership, uh, this, for sure, it's a, it's a global opportunity because uh, we can show and we can demonstrate TVS Racing and Checo how, uh, we, can be, how we can be ready on the kind of events, and demonstrate our capacity to be organized, to train rider, and our capacity to develop and to make an innovation on the, on the product and to show to the entire world and to all our competitors. So also it's racing technology exposure, I have said, and uh, global uh, Global Brown Mage. Thank you. Thank you so much, Thomas, for taking us through the journey of this Sherco and TVS Racing partnership so far. Ladies and gentlemen, to tell us more about the growth of the brand Apache and its, connect, its deep connect with TVS Racing, and also to tell us more about hashtag Grit Make Grit, I'm going to welcome on stage Arun Siddharth, Vice President Marketing, Premium Two Wheelers International Business and TVS Racing, TVS Motor Company. A big round of applause for him. Hi, good morning. It's nice to meet all of you as uh, uh, heading two wheeler premium business for a change, and in, and TVS Racing. So uh, this is this is fantastic to have all of you here. Uh, I've been in touch with a lot of you guys at different points of time, taking your advice, understanding from you. Uh, so uh, I think it's a huge part of where we are today is because of the kind of discussions that we have had at different points of time. And well, I can't say which discussion led to what, but I know at the end of all these discussions led to something that is beautiful. And I think we're, I, I think as an Indian manufacturer, being at this level with our friends from Sherco, uh, I think more than anything else, it's an effort which has come through because of uh, a lot of things that we have put together, uh, because of the kind of prodding and nudging that we've had from all of you. So thanks for that, and I'll get quickly into my presentation, and I won't take too much time. Uh, while uh, uh, this is the rough agenda, uh, essentially, uh, Apache is a brand, like you've always said, uh, it's a racing brand. It's a brand where the other brand is TVS Racing. Uh, it's a brand that has developed beautifully well. We are now uh, the largest growing sports bike. Actually, we don't consider ourselves a sports bike segment, though we play in a sports bike segment. We consider ourselves a race bike, and what is meant for uh, uh, road use. Uh, and I think uh, the, best, uh, 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 re uh, the best proof of this is the fact that it is developed by TVS Racing. Cell is sitting here, uh, and he reports to uh, and TVS Racing as a setup is uh, in such a fashion that it reports to uh, uh, TS R and D, which is headed by Babu for us, and who in turn reports to Mithar Mehta. Uh, a huge part of everything that goes into the bike, from uh, uh, the engine, power plant, and the testing, is done entirely by Cell and his team. So I think uh, the way the brand has developed is because also that the consumers see 
what we do on racetracks is probably what we're selling uh, on bikes, and, and they can make out the difference in performance when it comes up. Uh, just to give you a sense of uh, how the brand has also taken forward uh, TV Racing's legacy, uh, we now have a one-day championship which we do at a much bigger scale. Also, you must, all of you have been a part of the media racer scheme where uh, you guys have come and uh, ridden the bikes and enjoyed yourselves. I think you get a sense of what the stock bike is and how the bike on the one make championship for the media racers are. And you know that it's more or less, you know, pretty close to the stock bike and, and except for a few changes that are made for you guys to really ride on racetrack. Uh, apart from that, now we are starting, uh, we're institutionalizing two things. Uh, one is, like Mr. Harney said, we have a program to absorb new talent into uh, TBS Racing. We also want to create a program for people who are retiring from TBS Racing to get absorbed back into different aspects of the company. It could, could be marketing in terms of the programs that we're doing with respect to Apache Racing Experience, where we call a lot of our owners to ride the bikes on a racetrack. It's a highly coordinated uh, uh, track experience where uh, people like Harry and others come and teach them uh, how to ride. I think these are the two big things that we're trying to build forward for TBS Racing. The pro performance, any which ways, which is the sun part of it, and the racing experience, which I spoke. We're also starting um, uh, Apache owner groups across the country. And this is a new initiative that we are taking because we are seeing a lot of our uh, owners wanting to come together and interact more with TBS Racing. So these are owner groups which will have direct access to our TBS Racing uh, franchise. They will be able to meet riders. They will have exclusive invites for discussions. They will have exclusive pack days. They will have exclusive uh, access to uh, factory visits where they can ride on a track. Uh, and, and, and this is fantastic because the idea of if we have to really uh, grow more sport in this country, I think there's nothing that can do the job like a brand that can walk the talk for uh, TBS racing. And that's what Apache's uh, job is essentially in the portfolio. Yes, it has to sell, it has to do other things, but essentially the brand is built on a belief that more racing can develop something great and fantastic and engaging to ride. So uh, that's as far as Thomas Group is concerned. On uh, the partnership already, um, I think uh, uh, Thomas touched on this beautifully and as well as Mr. Harney. I think uh, we have a very common philosophy which is led by racing. We have been in this racing business 35 years, especially it's also a beautiful time for us because the fourth this year's Dhaka, it coincides with our 35th year of TS Racing, which we are celebrating this year. And I think uh, uh, we probably, for 30 out of those 35 years, have been uh, the only factory racing team which has been committed to the motorsport seen in the country without backing out. So I, I think we have enough credibility to say that we really believe in this and we have developed vehicles from this. Uh, also, it helps us uh, create a partnership at a global level uh, because these are two teams essentially which are equally skilled. Sherco has a very uh, narrow area and a very deep area of focus which is off-roading. And for us, as TVS Racing, we have always been, uh, we, we have started a lot of our racing activities on the motocross and supercross in rally areas. And it's, it's good because this year also we won, a, we had a record year to celebrate 35 years of racing. So thanks to Cell and his team. We won the national championship for the sixth straight time, and uh, the raid the Himalaya also. And this year we have a near 100% trade in every championship that we have participated. So this is fantastic, and I think, <laughs> and I think what Shoko brings to us is, is like uh, Mr. Hanne said, he used a very beautiful word. Uh, yeah, we are partners in this racing program, but we are friends first because essentially uh, we are in it for the same thing. We want to test ourselves against the best in the world. We want to take uh, our engineering to the next level. We want to learn from the, the toughest race tracks or the toughest off-road tracks, or so to say, uh, across the world and bring that back into our machines and give it and democratize the idea of great performance and endurance at the same time. These are two opposite criterions because most of you who are technically sound will know this. These are two opposite parameters, uh, performance and endurance. So to bring this back on the road bikes and, and just to give you a sense, uh, this also has helped us win JD Power for the last two years consecutively on our brand. So uh, there is proof of what we are learning on the racetrack, we are bringing it to the, bringing it to main roads. 
Uh, apart from that, yes, the, one of the biggest things uh, which Mr. Hani spoke about, which I want to touch about more in detail is um, the development of the machine, which is obvious, which I've spoken about, but development of the rider. If you see this year's calendar that had for TVS racing, this has been our biggest year in terms of preparatory races for the Dhaka. We participated in four different races, different from Baja Aragon to uh, the last one in Pafrican, which we won. We had one in two finish, which is fantastic. And uh, in Magoza, Mazuga, we also had a five finish with uh, Pedredo doing very well and also Arvin finishing in the top 15. So this is fantastic for us. And uh, this year, focus has been just as much as machine development has been something that we focus on as a manufacturer. We have also tried to put in a lot of effort into rider development. And I think that's where we see a lot of difference and a lot of uh, uh, progress as far as uh, all the three riders, whether it's uh, Pedredo, who's already very experienced with 10 Dakas in his belt, or Adrian, who is now in his third, or KP. And mostly KP because uh, he, this is his second Dhaka, and definitely he is hopeful of a very good finish this year with the kind of effort that he's put in in the lead up. So thanks a lot to our friends in Sherco who have helped us do this thing together and set for putting this entire program. Uh, so this is, this is where the partnership is. In terms of benefits, yes. Uh, uh, if you want to be an international player and you, you don't want to be a certain uh, uh, a region or a country specific, if you have ambitions of being a global manufacturer, that's what we are. Uh, it's important to have exposure at the global level on events which are considered the gold standards of competition. And I think that gives us one such opportunity. It gives us the ability to uh, put our brand forward in a place where uh, it's only that the best of the best compete and they finish. Uh, so I think this is fantastic for us for a global brand image. It gives us great technology exposure and also creates a lot of global opportunities for our readers and engineers to go to the next level because uh, they also would like to test themselves against the best in the world. Uh, I think this has already been captured. The good part is that last year we had a first top 10, top 15 finish, and, and, and this is very positive for our young team, which is doing everything uh, together for the first time. Uh, I think with that, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just uh, bring upon uh, a small video to showcase to you uh, the kind of effort that will be going in and also uh, we have today with us uh, all the three riders for you to interact with who will be going uh, to the Dhaka for uh, the TVS Shoko, Shoko TVS factory rally team. And uh, without much ado and taking more time, I would like to uh, roll out a video for you. Thank you. Track is a challenge. Track is a challenge. Give 9,000 grueling kilometers a shot. If racing in a bit of racing a bit is a showcase, is a showcase. Then what is racing across the river? This is a car. This is deck. The toughest race the on the toughest earth. race on earth. The ultimate test, the of, ultimate test of and engineering. And engineering. To take on one hundred and forty hundred of the world's of the best races. The challenge nature the challenge at its nature. most at its unforgiving. Most unforgiving. We're fueled by We're our spirit, by our spirit and, our grit. and our grit. We push our bodies, push our minds and machines to the limit. We train relentlessly, develop persistently, and progress and fiercely. fiercely. We've known because what it takes to achieve takes to achieve
Grit makes Grit. great great. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, please put us together as we unveil, introduce and welcome our Shaco TV's Factory Rally Team for Dakar 2018. We have Joan Pedrero, Adrian Mech and our very own Arvind Kimi. Can we give them a big round of applause? And requesting all our friends from media, our photographers and videographers to kindly come forward, come closer for the photo obsession. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be our fourth outing in the Dakar Rally. So our team has worked really hard and they continue to work really hard in order to conquer the car to the team. And once again, introducing to you our team for the car 2018, Joan Pedrero, Adri Mech, and our very own Arvind Kebi. May I also quickly request Vinay Hardy? Also quickly requesting Team Vinay Harne, Arun Siddharth, Mark Tessier and Thomas Tessier kindly join us on stage for a photo op with our Sherco TV Factory Rally Team Dakar 2018. Thank you so much. I'm going to request our three riders to stay back on stage. We're going to have a small little interactive session with them. In the meantime, I'm going to request everyone else to kindly grab your seats and settle down. All right, we just have a bunch of questions we'd like to ask the three of you. So I think we'll start with Pedro. Now, this is your ninth, um, you know, outing into Dakar, right? You're ex extremely experienced. So what do you think an individual needs and how does he need prepare in order to participate in the Dakar rally? Yes, can we have uh, one more mic, please? Yes. So my question is, how does one really prepare for a Dakar rally? Now he's already been on it nine years, right? This is his ninth outing into the Dakar rally. So how does a person prepare for it? Because it's really intense. So su pregunta es, uh, ¿cómo uh, cómo se prepara para el rally de el Dakar? Porque usted ya uh, lo ha hecho nueve veces y es la décima vez. Bueno, lo, lo primero de todo, eh, agradecer a toda la gente que, que ha venido, que, bueno, a toda la prensa, a toda la gente de TBS, a Sherco, eh, creo que estamos haciendo un buen trabajo. Y nada, decir a toda la gente que muchas gracias por, por venir, que, que eso es lo importante. Uh, uh, first thing, I would like to thank everyone who is here, who is here and also the uh, team of Sherco uh, and TBS people who work in the factory, and everyone who has come from the media. Thank you. Eh, bueno, la manera de preparar la, la, los nueve, nueve Dakar que llevo ya, eh, ahora por el próximo será el, el décimo, y, y bueno, mucho trabajo, ¿no? Eh, me dedico día a día a trabajar muchísimo con, con la moto, con, con el físico, con el, con el mentalmente. Uh, uh, this will be my 10th Dakar and uh, I work a lot with my uh, motorcycle and uh, every day I have 
to do a lot of hard work for God. Y bueno, quiero afrontar este, este Dakar. Para mí es muy importante porque eh, el número 10 es mi número favorito y, y quiero, quiero dar un gran salto. Eh, estamos preparados, hemos hecho un trabajo muy, muy fuerte con Serco TBS. Eh, hemos mejorado muchísimo este año, hemos hecho muchos test y la verdad es que estoy muy contento. Agradecer a, a todo el equipo que, que hemos hecho conjuntamente un trabajo muy, muy bueno con TEST, con, con todos los Sherco TBS y todos los ingenieros de conjuntamente con TBS y, y Sherco Factory. Yeah, I would like to thank everyone uh, who, uh, who have done the test in the Sherco and TBS uh, Factory and the engineers who have helped me a lot in this. Y bueno, vamos a afrontarlo lo mejor posible. Eh, no sé, tengo buenas sensaciones, hemos hecho carreras muy buenas, hemos ganado Panáfrica, Adrián ha hecho segundo, tenemos un team muy familiar, muy, muy, muy cercano y creo que va a ser un buen Dakar. Y no olvidarme de nuestro piloto india, Arabin, que de, desde aquí lo quiero felicitar porque ha hecho un progreso muy bueno. El año pasado eh, no tenía experiencia, este año ha mejorado muchísimo, muchísimo y bueno, yo creo que se merece un aplauso Arabin. I can't forget my colleague uh, uh, Arvin, who has done very well and uh, one uh, big round of applause for him. Thank you. I think to sum it up, uh, it takes a lot of preparation. No doubt he would know it because this is going to be his 10th uh, outing into the rally. And most importantly, I think what he's trying to say is that it takes a whole lot of hard work and a whole lot of teamwork, which our entire team here from Sherco and TVS Race has been putting in. Thank you so much. Uh, moving on to Adrian. So my question for you is everyone, no matter who you speak to, they say that the car rally is very intense, it's very hardcore. So what, as a rider, what makes you think that the Dakar Rally is extremely intense? Why is it so intense? Yeah, so uh, for sure it's a uh, Dakar, it's a very intense race. Um, and it's completely different of the other race. Because uh, the other, it's like uh, we race in Morocco one race, but uh, Dakar it's uh, two or three races like Morocco uh, without stop. So it's a very hard race, and uh, like the next uh, Dakar, uh, we will begin uh, by a um, lot of dunes uh, in Peru. So a lot of sun and uh, many kilometers in the sun, so will be for sure very uh, difficult and hard uh, physically. And after we will uh, reach Bolivia. Um, Bolivia for sure, a big altitude. Last year we climbed until... Uh, 5,000 meters altitude, so it's very hard for our body. And uh, the, the, the weather there, it's very, very cold sometimes, uh, can rain a lot. So we have to be prepared to, to hit. And, uh, and then we reach in Argentina. So again, uh, very uh, rough sand and rock, uh, so many kind of uh, ground. And and uh, very high temperature. So for sure, uh, next Dakar again will be a uh, very intense uh, race. So basically, it's it's whole journey which involves uh, very, you know, extreme climatic conditions and also very extreme terrain. No doubt it is the biggest challenge for any racer. Thank you so much. Moving on to KP. Now last year was your debut, right? Like this is your second time. So the last time you were De, you know, you were debutant, and then you would have felt differently last time. And I'm sure, given that you've already experienced it once, you might be feeling much better, more sure of yourself this year round, right? So share those thoughts with us. Um, hello, everybody, first of all. Thanks, uh, thanks for being here. First year was not that great as planned, but uh, definitely I had, uh, I had a lot of uh, first-hand experience, and uh, I really have... Uh, a clue of how Dakar is. And then since then, I've been uh, a part of four uh, Dakar series rallies, international rallies. And uh, 
I've trained uh, a lot after that, and uh, physically and mentally, I had a lot of time on the bike. Uh, I've done a lot of navigation uh, training as well. Uh, I think uh, starting from Merzuga, I finished 21st. Uh, the next was a Spanish Baja, which I finished uh, 12th. And then Pan Africa was uh, um, 13th, and then uh, Olivia was 15th. So definitely the results are getting better and the performance is getting better. I'm dwelling well with the team and uh, uh, you know, not to take it away from my teammates, I get uh, all kinds of inputs and my uh, team has been really, really uh, good and uh, there's absolutely no pressure. Uh, I think I'm more prepared than uh, how I was last year, mentally, physically, and uh, uh, I think on the bike as well. So it's definitely going to be a good one uh, to look out for 2018, yes. And we're definitely rooting for you. Uh, wish you all the very best for that. Thanks. Now, again, one more question to both of you, to Adrian and uh, Pedro Rook. Well, how good do you think do Indian riders have a scope in, when it comes to international motorsports? Bueno, la verdad es que es sorprendido, ¿no? Eh, eh, hay muchos pilotos en India, eh, me he dado cuenta que, que hay muchísimas motos aquí en India, es increíble las, las motos que hay y, y sobre todo pues que, que están subiendo muchos pilotos a, a Europa, eh, Arabin, Santos, eh, mucho, muchos pilotos y, y creo que es un, una, una, buena, una buena solución para, para nosotros, ¿no? Que, que venga gente de, de todo el mundo, sobre todo de, de India, que es tan grande. Y, y bueno, me sorprende porque han hecho un cambio muy, muy grande, eh, han evolucionado muchísimo. Uh, uh, India es un país muy grande y hay muchos corredores en India que están haciendo muy bien en uh, uh, Europa. Por uh, ejemplo, Arvind ha hecho muy bien y están muy profesionales haciendo eso. Y bueno, yo creo que eh, Arabin tiene, tiene unas cualidades muy buenas, eh, no suelo decírselo, pero, pero bueno, se lo digo ahora porque aquí quiero que sea reconocido porque ha hecho un cambio muy, muy bueno y tiene una técnica excepcional. Uh, Arabin es un muy talentoso y tiene una técnica especial y va a hacer muy bien. Y bueno, yo creo que es una referencia en la IA, eh, una de las referencias más grandes en la India que en, en el tema de off-road. Y, y bueno, pues eh, qué, qué mejor que, que sea piloto TBS y Sherco y podamos hacer una buena campaña. Uh, probably he will be uh, the best uh, rider of TBS Sherco and he will be the reference point for uh, in motorcycle riding. Great, thank you. Arjun, we'd like for you to share your thoughts on the same thing as well. If you can just tell us what you feel about uh, the scope that Indian races, Indian riders have in international motorsports. Yeah, for sure, um, it's uh, nice to, to see all the, the new riders of a new country coming in uh, our uh, races. And um, uh, for sure, it's very, very good for, for them to see uh, all, the, all the big races like that to, to have an evolution here in India. And um, I hope, uh, I hope uh, with them, uh, all the Indian riders, we follow them and uh, you will have uh, so ma many more riders in India. Great, thank you so much. One final question to Arvind, of course. Uh, based on whatever they said, I think that's only further proof of the fact that you're an inspiration for many young riders out there, right? So what uh, advice would you like to give out to all the young uh, Indian riders? Uh, for sure, uh, TVS uh, and uh, TVS Singh has been, uh, you know, actively racing for 35 years and uh, they've been uh, actively coming up with the Apache racing programs and Apache uh, promotion programs where a lot of customers can get a lot of knowledge about how uh, how you can really get better on uh, safety concerns and riding on the seats and how how you can literate others and all that. So I think it's definitely opening grounds for uh, new riders to come. And then, uh, you know, it's it's the only factory team which has been uh, there since the five years. So we just created uh, many, many riders. Um, you know, most of, most of the, all the prominent riders in India are all uh, from TBS. So 
you know, it's been inspiration for all all them. And uh, my advice to the new riders would be just uh, you know focus on the right things. And since you have a lot of exposure now, and uh, put yourself in the controlled atmosphere. And uh, uh, if you have the persistence and dedication, I think you will definitely get to where you want to. There is a lot of stage now in India, and the sport is growing, and uh, hopefully it'll get better. So all it takes is grit to make great, right? Definitely, definitely. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, can we have a big round of applause for them? And here's wishing our team all the very best for Dakar 2018. Thank you. With this, we've come to the official end of the program. We open the house for Q&A. If you have any questions, I'd like to invite on stage Harnes said and Thomas, if you could join us on stage. Any questions for the riders or the team? Go ahead. Hi, this is Vishal from Autocar. Actually, my connection is not uh, Hi, this is Vishal from Autocar. Congratulations to the team and all the best next year. Thank you. Arvid's question is for you. Uh, last year, you said that navigation was going to be the biggest challenge. Since then, you've had a lot of practice. You've seen what more there is out there. Is that still the case? Is navigation still the biggest challenge? See, every race is different, and uh, definitely my navigation has improved a lot uh, from the time I started. So I'm definitely more confident this year. Uh, I wouldn't say I will get lost, but uh, you know, na navigation is still a challenge for you know. It takes a lot, a lot of uh, uh, rallies for you to get used to it. Um, I I do read the book better, and I can relate to the stage much better. Uh, but still, it is going to be a little challenging, but. Uh, I think, you know, it's it's uh, because the next edition of Dakar is mostly on the dunes. So you don't really have any tracks to follow. Uh, you have to make your own track and it's uh, it's all angle, you know, it's it's like degree based. So hopefully all, all this training and all the rallies that I've been doing will definitely, you know, help me out and uh, I don't get lost. So we'll be rooting for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, hi, Atish with Evo India. First of all, congratulations on Africa, Olivia, uh, great finishes. You have been consistently improving your performances. Uh, what is the uh, goal for Dakar this year? I think uh, before getting, without getting ahead of ourselves, I think we've had, uh, I think as a company, we believe in process, uh, whether it's about product development or it's about the way we go to market or we cut a segment or it's a racing program in general. Uh, so it's important in, in a race like Dhaka to not get ahead of yourself and, and believe the process that you put in. I think the process this year has been just as much about the machine as it has been about the rider. And this year actually we're focused a little bit more on the rider development. And I think uh, with that uh, in mind, I think uh, the races that we have finished where we have finished, uh, for which you uh, also quoted, I think uh, it's important to keep in mind that uh, the process is working. And I think we just would like the process to work. And wherever that leads us, I'm very sure that it will be a very good uh, uh, result for us as far as that is concerned. So the idea is to keep it simple and follow the process. Atisit is playing it safe. Read the press release carefully. We <laughs> put the target there. So let's mention all, right, all the best. We want to be among Thank the you. Content. Thank yeah, you. I think, I think we, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Anybody else? Okay, good. Go ahead, Kar. Congratulations and obviously best of luck to all of you. It's going to be a tremendous challenge. Uh, I just want to refer back to two things. Uh, one on the machine side and other for the riders. I'll address the riders first. You've been training together. You've had more time together. Uh, can you share maybe a little bit of how as a team you may have improved or learned from each other if something that front and uh, secondly, the motorcycle front. Uh, last year, I remember uh, Thomas telling us about uh, 
using bearingless crankshafts last year to improve uh, reliability. How has the motorcycle changed in terms of performance compared to last year would be my second question. Adrian, you want to take that? Kirian, Adrian. Yeah, I don't, uh, they don't have much to learn from me. It's a, <laughs> the other, other way around. So let me just finish with that. So I have, uh, you know, uh, all these rallies every day is a learning and uh, they're all very, uh, very, very experienced. And uh, uh, that's taught me how to be more organized and how to, you know, tackle difficult days and, you know, keep, keep calm and uh, get the finish line every day. So I train with them, uh, I train uh, mostly with them, road books and all that. So is, if there is any, um, you know, like a <coughs> major thing that I have to look out for or if there is something which is really important that I can miss. There is always, a, a, you know, they are always open to giving me ideas and how I have to do and what should be done uh, for me not to get lost and, you know, get on the track on the right direction. So it happens in the races as well. So once the actual race briefing is done, I get another briefing done in the room. <laughs> so that's how they help me every, every, every day. So it's, uh, it's a lot of learning for me. And uh, I'm not very sure what they've learned from me. Thanks, KP. Adrian? So about the bike. Um, my bike, it's uh, amazing. Every day uh, more. I am, uh, in, uh, they are working a lot on, on this bike. And uh, every time getting better, better, better a little bit. And um, for sure, uh, uh, th this bike will be very competitive on the next car. And... Um, uh, it showed that uh, in the last two races was uh, very competitive with uh, in the world championship the last race we fight with uh, the, the 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 biggest team of the world so for sure is this bike is getting better every every day and I am enjoying a lot for sure them too. Thank you, uh, Thomas. Do you want to add something on the second part of the question? Yeah, regarding the bike, uh, we have done a lot of evolution because of. Uh, the feedback from the rider that is really important because uh, engineer and uh, mechanic are not uh, they are on the track, but they are not uh, with a rider during a race because, as we know, uh, Dakar is, uh, is really long and the assistants cannot follow the rider during the race. This is a specificity of, uh, of Dakar. So we have done a, a lot of work on the side parts but, uh, during the, uh, the past year, but uh, the target was last year uh, to work on the high speed of a bike. Uh, and uh, we are working on it, and the bike now is competitive for high speed. We have done this job uh, last year, and the main job that we have done uh, this year on the bike uh, was on the performance and reliability. Uh, we've seen that on the Dakar, the top speed is something that is important, but it's really important to be uh, really fast from point A to point B, and rider can explain that it's something that is uh, really important to be really fast to arrive at a certain speed, because it's just on the Salah, for example, that you can put full speed every time. But uh, from point A to point B, you need to be really fast and the bike needs to be really progressive. And the big advantage of a Sherco bike, it's a, uh, of a Sherco TVS bike, I mean the RTF 450, it's uh, to be uh, really good in tricky condition and we had, lack, uh, we had a lack of high speed and now, uh, since last year, it's done. So let's hope the best. Uh, we think that uh, we develop uh, generally a good product together and um, we'll see... Uh, our competitiveness on the track. I'll just uh, add to that, I think another aspect that we've worked on as far as, uh, like we said, that rider input has been very important this year. So each one of them has a different riding style. Somebody likes to ring it more, somebody likes a more progressive curve. Somebody wants, Arvind himself is very different from how he was ringing it last year to this year. So uh, it's important that we give the rider what is uh, most suited to him because like, uh, Thomas said that it's a, it's a race where you have to be confident, go fast, because the terrain doesn't support you. So I think a lot of work has been about those uh, curve mappings and all, which, which are more about personalization of technology to the rider riding profile uh, and, and everything else, keeping in mind the high speed performance and endurance at the same time, uh, because we're the last few days. In those so. Thanks, Ed. Any more questions? Or? They're going to be around. If you have more questions, you can always catch up with them. Thank you once again for coming here. I know people have flown from other cities too. The lunch is ready. Please join us for lunch. Thank you, Yash, once again. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you.